Welcome to Learn with Lily. Today we are starting with your Longman Universal Science Class 4 Chapter 6 and the name of the chapter is Teeth and Digestion Stepping Stones The shape of the teeth of an animal depends on the food that it eats. Carnivorous animals have sharp pointed teeth while herbivorous animals have strong and flat teeth. We, human beings, are omnivores. On the basis of the above passage, answer the following questions. What kind of teeth should we have? We should have sharp, pointed, strong and flat. Will a vegetarian have different teeth from a non-vegetarian? No. All humans have same teeth. The teeth along with the tongue help in ingestion of food. The main function of teeth is to bite and chew the food. Teeth also perform many other functions. Teeth help us to form words and speak along with the help of tongue. Teeth give shape to our face. Teeth form a part of our facial expressions such as smiles and frowns. Teeth are present in the mouth, on the jaw. We have one upper jaw and one lower jaw. In human beings, a newborn baby does not have any teeth. The first tooth appears when the baby turns six months old. By the age of three years, a baby has 20 teeth. This first set of teeth is called milk teeth or temporary teeth. When a child is around six years of age, the milk teeth begin to fall off one by one. Every time a milk tooth falls off, a new tooth grows in place of the old tooth. A new set of teeth grows in place of milk teeth. These are called permanent teeth. We have 32 permanent teeth, 16 each in the upper and the lower jaws. As you can see, this is the milk teeth photo. A tooth. A tooth is made up of two parts, the crown and the root. The crown is the visible part of the tooth. The root is the part of the tooth inside the gum. The tooth is kept in place by the root. The region where the crown meets the root is called the neck. So this is the part of a tooth. This is the crown, the neck and the root. Now layers of a tooth. The outer layer of a tooth is called the enamel. This is the layer that is visible to us. The color of enamel is white. It is the hardest substance in our body. Enamel protects the tooth from the wear and tear of chewing. Below the enamel, it is dentine. The function of dentine is to support the enamel. It is yellow in appearance. Inside the dentine lies the soft pulp. It has nerves and blood vessels. Pulp supplies nutrients to the tooth and it also sends signals to the brain in case of toothache. As you can see, this is the diagram of layers of a tooth, enamel, dentine, and the pulp, and wonder box. The enamel of the tooth is the hardest substance in the body. Sharks get a new set of teeth in two weeks. Now, types of teeth. Have you ever wondered why the teeth present in your mouth are different from each other? Some have a pointed tip while others have a flat top. Human beings have four types of teeth. Each type performs a different function and has a unique shape.
The chisel shaped feet present in front of the jaw are called incisors. They help in cutting and biting the food. We have four incisors in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw. Adjacent to the incisors are the canines. They are pointed and sharp. They help in tearing food. They are two canines. There are two canines in each jaw. The teeth next to the canines are the premolars. They have ridges on top. These are flat and broad teeth. They help in crushing and chewing the food. Each jaw has four premolars. The teeth located next to premolars are molars. They are the largest teeth in the mouth. They are flat with sharp ridges on top. They help in crushing and grinding the food. Molars are the most powerful teeth and can apply a lot of pressure on any food item. There are six molars in each jaw. The third pair of molars is known as wisdom teeth. So as you can see here on top, it is about appearance of 20 teeth of a baby. Here is a diagram of types of the teeth. And here is also about the arrangement of teeth in the mouth. So now taking care of our teeth. Let us understand the effect of acid and staining agents present in the fizzy drinks on teeth through an activity. Activity 1. You will need 3 cups and 3 white eggs. Fill one of the cup with water the second with coffee or tea, and the third with any carbonated fizzy drink. Place an egg in each of these cups and then leave the setup for a few hours. Take the eggs out after six hours and write your ob observation. So, water, the egg will remain the same, coffee or tea, change in brown color, and fizzy drinks sell it softer. And now, leave the cups overnight and see what happens. After one night, the water will remain the same, coffee or tea will become brown in color and fizzy drinks soft shell. So now, what do you think will happen to our teeth if we do not clean them properly after eating or drinking? We will have cavities and tooth decay. Why should we brush our teeth every day? This helps to have healthy tooth. teeth. When we eat, small pieces of food sometimes get stuck in between the teeth. This causes the growth of germs, mainly bacteria, in these areas. A sticky yellowish layer of bacteria and food particles called plug forms over it. Bacteria further break down the food particles into acid. This acid eats away the tooth enamel and causes holes inside the teeth called cavities. Over a period of time, these cavities became, become bigger. When the cavity reaches the nerves in the pulp, the tooth starts paining. Now get it right. Beautiful white teeth do not imply that your teeth are healthy. The color of teeth may be paler, but still they can be healthy teeth. Healthy teeth have healthy gums, no cavities, and strong jaw bones. Now some tips. Tips for healthy teeth. You can take care of your teeth by keeping them clean and by following these healthy habits. Brush your teeth every morning and also before going to bed at night. Brush by making light strokes. This will take out bits of food stuck between the teeth. So the front reach should be brushed up down in and in circular motion. Gently brush the outer and inner portions of the upper and lower teeth in a back forward and rolling motion. Brush the side teeth in a back forward and rolling motion. Do not eat too many sweets and chocolates. They stick to the teeth and cause tooth decay. Rinse your mouth after every meal. 
Use toothpaste with fluoride in them as they help in removing the plaque. Use dental floss occasionally in order to clean the region between two teeth. Go for a regular dental checkup, preferably after every six months. Drink plenty of milk. It consists of calcium that makes teeth strong. Eat food that have lots of vitamins and minerals. Cereals, cheese, fruits and mint leaves help in keeping the teeth healthy and strong. Remember, if your permanent teeth decay and fall off, no new teeth will grow in their place. Remember, always brush your teeth every day and follow all these steps with the right technique. Now, run through the first set of teeth in babies is called temporary or milk teeth it is further replaced with permanent teeth a tooth is made up of different layers namely enamel dentine and pulp incisors canines premolars and molars are the different types of teeth present in our mouth we must brush regularly and take care of our teeth to keep them healthy now track your progress. Answer in one word. A. Visible part of a teeth. Crown. B. How many temporary teeth do we have? 20. C. What kind of toothpaste should we use to keep plug away? Fluoride. D. A sticky yellowish layer of bacteria and food particles is known as plaque. Now about digestion. We need food to get nutrients such as proteins, vitamins and minerals. The food that we eat has to be first broken down into simpler substances. The process by which food is broken down into simple substances is called digestion. Different organs such as the mouth, stomach and intestines together make up the digestive system. As you can see, here is the diagram of digestive system. It has mouth, food pipe, liver, stomach, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, and anus. Digestion in the mouth. Chewing. This is the first step of digestion. The incisors help to bite the food. The molars and premolars grind the food and change it into a paste. This is called chewing. The saliva present in our mouth mixes with the food to make it soft. It also breaks down the insoluble starch into soluble sugars for easy digestion. Swallowing. The tongue pushes the food down with the help of food pipe. The movement of muscles in the throat force the food to pass through food pipe into the stomach. Now, digestion in the stomach. The stomach is a hollow bag made of muscles. It contains digestive juices which further break down the proteins present in food into a simpler form. Food remains in the stomach for about 4 hours. The juices in the stomach also kill the harmful bacteria. Now, digestive in small intestine. From the stomach, food goes into a long coiled tube called the small intestine. The juices secreted by the small intestine and the digestive juices produced by the liver and the pancreas enter into the intestine and break down the food further to complete the process of digestion. The digested food is now in the form of liquid. It is absorbed into the blood through the walls of the small intestine. The blood then carries the essential nutrients to other parts of the body. Now digestion in the large intestine. Some components of the food such as fibers cannot be digested by our body. This undigested food is passed through the large intestine. The blood vessels in the walls of the large intestine absorb water from this undigested food. The remaining semi-solid waste is excreted out through the anus. Healthy eating habits 
Here are some of the healthy eating habits. We should follow these habits for the proper functioning of our digestive system. Wash hands with soap before and after all meals. Eat all meals at a fixed time every day. Eat slowly and chew the food properly. Always avoid overeating. Do not drink water while having your meal. Drink it an hour before or an hour after the meal. Rinse your mouth after eating every meal. Do not exercise or play immediately after eating. Eat a balanced diet that contains all the nutrients in adequate quantities. Eat all seasonal fruits and vegetables. Do not eat too much processed food. Drink enough water. Eat enough dairy products such as cheese and curd. As you can see here in the picture, it is avoid eating too much processed food items. Now, microbes. After eating, we should clean our mouth and teeth properly. Otherwise, it results in the growth of bacteria. There are many such other tiny organisms present all around us. These tiny organisms are called microbes. They cannot be seen with the unaided eye. They grow rapidly in warm and moist weather. Some microbes are helpful while others cause diseases. These disease-causing microbes are called germs. There are mainly five types of microbes. Bacteria. These are single-celled organisms. These are found everywhere and in almost everything. Diseases such as tuberculosis, typhoid, and pneumonia are caused by bacteria. Viruses. They are smaller than bacteria. Diseases such as chickenpox, dengue, polio, flu, and common cold are caused by viruses. Fungi. They grow on dead and decaying matter. Fungi cause diseases such as ringworm and athlete's foot. Here in New York scientist Robert Koch. He was a German scientist. He studied and explained how bacteria cause diseases. In 1905, Coach received Nobel Prize in Medicine for his research on tuberculosis, a bacterial disease that mainly affects the lungs. Protozoa They are also single-celled organisms. Protozoa are also known as little animals. They cause diseases such as malaria and dysentery. So this is the picture of bacteria, virus, fungi, and protozoa. Useful microbes. Some microbes such as bacteria and fungi can also be useful to us. Now, bacteria. The useful bacteria change milk into curd. They help in the digestion of raphidian animals. They produce vitamins in our body. They help in the decay of dead plants and animals. Some bacteria help to make the soil fertile and some bacteria present in our stomach help in digestion of food and fungi. They are used in medicines, they are used in making breads and biscuits and fungi such as mushroom can be eaten. Now run through. The process by which food is broken down into simple substances is called digestion. Different organs such as mouth, stomach and intestine together make up the digestive system. The disease-causing microbes are called germs. Now, track your progress. Name the following. Where does digestion of, st of starch begin? Mouth. Where is protein digested? Stomach. Where is water absorbed from the food? Large intestine. And name one helpful microbe? Fungi. Now, grocery. Canines. Teeth that are used for tearing food. Cavities. Holes formed in the tooth due to the acid produced by bacteria. 
Dentine, middle layer of a tooth. Digestion, process by which food is broken down into simple substances. Enamel, hard outer covering of a tooth. Incisors, teeth that help in cutting or biting food. Microbes, tiny organisms that cannot be seen with the unaided eye. Molars, teeth that help to chew and grind the food. Permanent teeth, teeth that grow after the milk teeth fall off. Plaque, a sticky yellowish layer of bacteria and food particles form over the teeth. Premolars, teeth that help to crush and chew the food. Pulp, soft tissue inside the digest the dentine made up of nerves and blood vessels. Temporary teeth, the first set of teeth in babies. Now assessment zone. A. Name the microbes that cause the following diseases. Ringworm is by fungi, polio, virus, typhoid, bacteria, malaria, protozoa, and flu is also virus. Fill in the blanks. Protozoa are also known as little animals. Use dental floss to clean the region between two teeth. Chewing is the first stage of digestion. The chisel-shaped teeth present in the front of the jaws are called incisors. The region where the crown meets the root is called neck. The third pair of molar are also called wisdom teeth. Answer in one word. Disease-causing microbes known as germ. Teeth that help in tearing food, canine. Fungi that can be eaten, mushroom. Holes in the teeth, cavities. And the first set of teeth in babies, milk, feet. Label the parts of the digestive system. As you can see, food pipe, liver, large intestine, small intestine, and anus. Question and answers will repair to the notebook right now. So as you can see, this is the diagram of a tooth. And this is also the layers of a tooth. Now, answer the following questions in brief. 1. State the functions of the following. Tongue. It helps to swallow the food. And 2. It also helps us to speak. 2. Teeth. Its main function is to bite and chew the food. It also helps us to speak along with tongue. And C. Pulp. It supplies nutrients to tooth. It sends signals to brain in case of toothache. Question number 2. Name the four types of teeth. Answer. The four types of teeth are incisors, canines, premolars, and molar. 3. Define digestion. The process by which the food we eat is broken down into simple substances is called digestion. 4. What is the role of saliva in digestion? Saliva mixes with the food to make it soft. It also breaks down the insoluble starch into soluble sugar for easy digestion. Discuss any two healthy eating habits. Answer. The two healthy eating habits are 1. Wash your hands before and after eating and 2. Do not talk while eating. This is also the types of the teeth. Can I? Molar, premolar, and incisors. Now, question number six. Name two different microbes. Give the names of two diseases caused by each one of them. Bacteria. Tuberculosis, typhoid are the two diseases caused by bacteria and viruses. Chicken pox, dengue are two diseases caused by viruses. Question number seven. Discuss the role of small intestine in the process of digestion. The juices 
secreted by the small intestine along with digestive juices produced by the liver and the pancreas break down the food completely. The digested food is now in the form of a liquid. It is absorbed into the blood through the walls of the small intestine and transported to the other parts of the body. Answer the followings in detail. Number 1. How are molars different from canines? Canines. They are sharp and pointed teeth. Molars. They are flat with sharp ridges on top. They help in tearing food and they are two canines in each jaw. This they help in grinding and crushing the food and there are six molars in each jaw. Explain the process of chewing. Chewing is the first step in digestion. The incisors help to bite the food. The premolars and the molars grind the food and change it into a paste. This is called chewing. The food is mixed with the saliva and becomes soft. Question number three. How is plaque formed? Why does it harm the tooth? The food stuck in between the teeth causes the growth of germs in these areas. A sticky yellowish layer of bacteria and food particles called plaque forms over it. Bacteria further breaks down the food particles into acid. The acid eats away the tooth enamel and forms the cavities. When these cavities become bigger and reach the nerve in the pulp, it causes toothache and finally tooth decay. Question number four. Describe the process of digestion that takes place in the stomach. The stomach contains digestive juices which break down the proteins present in food into a simpler form. Food remains in the stomach for about 4 hours. The juices in the stomach also kills the harmful bacteria. Question number 5. Discuss 5 tips to take care of our teeth. Answer the 5 tips to take care of our teeth are as follows. 1. Do not eat too many sweets and chocolate. 2. Rinse your mouth after every meal. 3. Go for regular dental checkups, preferably after every 6 months. 4. Drink plenty of milk. It contains calcium. And 5. Use dental floss occasionally. Now hots. Explain the statement, microbes can be useful to us. So answer is, microbes can be uh, also useful to us in the following ways. 1. The useful bacteria changes milk into curd. 2. Fungi are used in medicines. 3. Fungi or yeast is used in making breads and biscuits. And 4. Some bacteria help in the decay of dead plants and animals. Pinky ate a very cold ice cream. Now her tooth is hurting. What do you think is the problem with her tooth? <coughs> Answer. If eating ice creams makes Pinky's hurt, <coughs> she is probably suffering from cold sensitive teeth. Plug built up on the teeth <coughs> and gums can lead to cold sensitive teeth. Cold sensitive teeth occur when the nerves within the tooth are exposed due to warm tooth enamel and cavity. <coughs> now let's refer to the workbook. Worksheet number one. Choose the correct answer. One, which is the hardest part of your tooth enamel? Two, if plug is not cleaned off the teeth, it can cause cavities. 3. At what age do we usually start to get prevenant teeth? 6. Which of the following helps in cutting and biting the food? Incisors. Out of the following, which is used to clean the region between two teeth? Dental floss. 
Now, write one function of the following. Pulp. It supplies nutrients to the tooth and also sends signals to the brain in case of toothache. 2. Canines. It helps in tearing the food. Premolars. Helps in crushing and chewing food. And molars help in grinding the food. C. Give reasons for the following. 1. We must brush our teeth at least twice a day. We must brush our teeth at least twice a day as it will take out bits of food stuck between the tooth. 2. Cavity develops in teeth. Cavity develops in teeth when we eat too many sweets and chocolates. They stick to the teeth and cause tooth decay. 3. We should drink sufficient amount of milk. We should drink sufficient amount of milk as it contains calcium that makes the teeth strong. Worksheet number 2 Fill in the blanks. 1. The saliva present in our mouth mixes with the food to make it soft. 2. The stomach is a hollow bag made of muscles. 3. We should always chew the food properly. 4. The disease-causing microbes are called germs and 5. The useful bacteria convert milk into curd. Name the microbes that cause the following diseases. Typhoid is bacteria, ringworm is fungi, malaria protozoa, pneumonia bacteria, dysentery protozoa, dengue is a virus and flu is also virus. Answer the following questions. Number 1. Give to uses of bacteria. They help in decay of dead plants and animals and they produce vitamin in our body. 2. Give to uses of fungi. They are used in medicines and they are used in making breads and biscuits. 3. Give to habits good for our digestive systems. We should wash our hands with soap before and after all meals and always avoid overeating. Worksheet number 3. Stay true or false. 1. The first set of teeth is called milk teeth. True. Plug is healthy for our teeth. False. Always exercise immediately after eating. False. Toothpaste with fluoride is good for our teeth. True. We should drink plenty of water. True. B. Answer in one word. 1. The process of breaking down the food into simpler form. Digestion. It supports the enamel dentine, the diet which contains all the nutrients in the right amount, balanced diet. The grinding of food that changes it into a paste, chewing. The semi-solid waste is excreted through this, anus, fungi that can be eaten, mushroom, find the odd one, out, root, digestion, crown, neck, digestion. 2. Fungi, viruses, plug, protozoa, plug. 3. Incisors, canines, bacteria, molar, bacteria. So, if you enjoyed my video, please do like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. God bless you all.